Hello guys, welcome to my lazy ponder tech blog. So today I am going to discuss about how you can configure SSO with AWS Cognitor login page and you can manage your active um, Cognito as an active directory and create one user there um, uh, and validate it in your through your angular application. So step please uh, step I am demonstrating here in uh, how we can configure the Cognito with manage user pool and then create one user pool with the email address and then after we, we need to create one domain as well and then application redirection URL like callback URL as well as login logout URL and those are the configuration we are going to fetch from angular application and um, the few code snippets is already has given below you can check this out also i am going to demonstrate everything with step by step in current video as well please have a look be patient and be with me i am going to show everything every granular granular details here if you have any comments any questions please post it in comment section in here as well also you can do a reply so i will be happy to answer your queries as well and uh, one more note like in right now we are leveraging the cognito login page but in next blog i am going to discuss about how we can configure forge rock open aim uh, forge rock login page now uh, with saml assertion um, so in next blog i am going to discuss every step how you can configure open aim in your locally and then the saml creation and also instead of getting the uh, cognito login page you will get the forge rock login page to validate your user okay uh, now first start with the cognito login page so you need to come to the aws your console aws console and click on the cognito if you do not have in recent site you can search it out there and click on manage user pool i do not have any user pool here so i am clicking on create user pool pool name review section and username attribute you click it here instead of username I am clicking email address and phone number allow email address as well and you can do next step next step next step So first I need to copy that pool ID in so here I just put the pool ID and then I need to create some app client as well. So here I am going to create one client uh, giving the name as D and make sure that you click on that uh, generate client secret and then click on create app client so your cli app client id is this and uh, you need to copy it here and those are those are the sections those are the ids we are going to use from angular application so that is why i am copying it here and copy the client secret as well paste it here and now next step is you need to come to the domain name you need to create one domain here so let me create one domain let me check that out domain is available let me make the set the changes okay so next one you need to come to app client settings so here we are going to discuss about we are going to set the callback url and the sign out url as well first you need to click on select all callback url http colon slash slash localhost 500 slash callback and sign out is
home page and then click on authorization code grant and open id profile and click on set changes so <coughs> we are almost done with all my setup and cognito side so before leaving from cognito you just click on launch hosted ui so you will get the log basic login page from cognito um, so here you can um, the same login page we are going to fetch from the uh, angular application as well and uh, let's see how we can do it so i already have an um, um, application created in angular and we are i am having two page there one is the home page and another is the dashboard home page will have the simple text with the login button and when user click on login it will call the cognito login ui where the user needs to put uh, his credentials and then the refresh token will be the token api will be called cognito token api and then it will come back to dashboard with access token refresh token like that and all of those things how we, we are we are setting up here is by calling that uh, token resolver service so token resolver service is working just between the navigation from home to dashboard and uh, during that navigation it will check the code is available with the callback url or not and based on that code we are going to call one API, Cognito API, that is the uh, uh, that is the Cognito token URL, which is set up here, and uh, and we are passing few JSON content and uh, as an header. Those are the parameters you have had to pass uh, before you know, to call that API then this api will responsible to give you back the access token refresh token to continue your application okay now also there are certain changes we are we need to modify as i have created it earlier so the username and password i need to just update accordingly so this is the client id i need to update the client id client secret and uh, login url login url which we have it here so the this is the demo app and just copy it here let me show you so demo app this is the domain i have put across and then the client id which is this particular client id which needs to be placed with the client id and in logout section as well i am pasting the client id and here as well the just update the url so first check the login url login url you can directly copy it from here and paste it uh, in your um, environment file and redirect url which you have put across in the cognito that url cognito token url is the your domain and then auth2 slash token and logout is just the domain and then logout you have to pass the client id and logout uri which you have set in cognito side now coming back to the browser and i just close it and open the localhost as the application is still running so it prompt uh, directly open the application and i click on login page so login page appear as i do not have any user present with my user pool so i need to click on sign up button and here i have to put a actual email address with dummy password okay and 
clicking on sign up some authorization code has been sent to that uh, email id so this is the authorization code i just copy it here coming back verification code confirm account okay so token api is gets called see in header we are passing the basic um, authorization which let me go to the api section so this is the authorization token we are passing and then the form data with authorization code the code and the open id plus profile and the redirect url remember that this code will be used for only once next time onwards this code will not be able to give you the actual refresh and uh, access token it will never able to give you back the access token it is only used for single time so next time if you you if user logged out the application will prompt the login page again to validate the user so if i just simply i just come um, close it and come back to the home page i didn't call the logout so i just came back here and uh, do click on login button it asked that of it will prompt it will prompt as in that I already logged in so uh, shall I continue with that user or sign in with the different user if I continue with the same user it will just uh, call the token and um, it will call the token and the it will re response back the access access token so just first check that one just copy it somewhere okay and now I am just going back to the home clicking on it so, token this is auto every time this value will change accordingly so every time this token will be different the older token cannot be used more than once that is the main point that is why i am showing it twice um, um, just uh, to understood like um, this token is really important um, and then if you click on the logout and uh, you every that token will be automatically expired and um, it will come back to the home page now if you click on login button again you will prompt the login page so um, next block i am going to replace the cognito ui with Forgerock UI as I said earlier as well so um, keep looking into my blog and if you like the video uh, and the blog please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you later thank you